Turned off. Here we go. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Environment and Sustainability Committee meeting number 11 of 2022 on the 29th of November. Uh, I have all committee members in attendance. Uh, considering the, the time so that we can move swiftly through the afternoon. Um, I'll move that we adjourn for 30 minutes for lunch. Thank you, Councillor Fechner, uh, seconding. Uh, all those in agreement? It's unanimous and carried. Thank you. We'll be back at 1.02 p.m.
Good afternoon. Welcome back to Environment Sustainability Committee meeting number 11 of 2022 on the 29th of November. Uh, having just returned, uh, checking attendance, we have uh, all committee members except for Councillor Madsen, who just mentioned to me he was slipping out to grab some paperwork uh, and he'll be with us uh, shortly. I've just texted the CEO. Okay, and he's just, just walked in now. That's great to have all uh, committee members in attendance. And it would be good to make sure the CEO's here as well. Yes. Mm. Fashionable, they say. <laughs> Uh, I'll commence with acknowledgement of country. Ipswich City Council respectfully acknowledges the traditional owners as custodians of the land upon which we meet. We pay our respects to their elders, past, present and emerging, as the keepers of the traditions, cultures and stories of a proud people. Do we have any declarations of interest in matters on the agenda? No? Uh, then we'll move straight to business outstanding. Uh, there is one item, trolley cleanup, update October, November 2022. This is a report concerning a request from the Environment Sustainability Committee on 13th of October 22 for an update on the trolley cleanup program as presented to committee on 5th of August 22, titled Bremer River Shopping Trolley Cleanup Program Report for 2020 to 2021. This is a briefing on the progress and developments in that regard. Does any member of committee wish to ask any questions with regards to the report? No? Then the recommendation is that the report be received and the contents noted. Uh, do I have a mover? Thank you, Councillor Feckner. Second, uh, thank you, Councillor Kunzman. I'll open the matter for discussion. Oh. Mayor Hardy. No, you go. Um, I just want to thank Mr Smith. Uh, this comes on the back of um, a question that we had on notice and um, it's really great to see it being reported through our committee. Um, it's a wonderful use of the committee process to give us an update um, on something that's pretty important to us, the trolley cleanups. Um, what I wasn't aware of was that <clears throat> how the um, numbers had significantly decreased. So I was really happy um, to see that. Um, and I guess a special mention to um, the team down in um, planning and regulatory services who have actually been liaising with the retailers to ensure that they maintain their compliant position um, against our local laws when it comes to the shopping trolleys and when they go astray. So it's a really pleasing outcome. And, and um, yeah, many thanks because it is um, pretty labour intensive work to um, audit the shopping centres when it comes to their compliance, when it comes to their shopping trolleys. So, um, you know, it's good to see that this is a priority for council. Um, and as a consequence, we've seen a decrease um, in those numbers of shopping trolleys in the waterway. So a great result. Um, but as the report says, we'll continue to monitor that. Absolutely, I concur. Thank, thank you, Councillor Fechner. Yes, it's uh, that, that proactiveness. Um, uh, on behalf of the organisation that uh, is delivering the, that outcome uh, being the reduction. Mayor Harding. Yes, thank you, Chair. Oh, I too was delighted to read that there was a 60% reduction um, in reports of, of, of the trolleys. Um, I want to thank the community for being more diligent. Um, also, I can see that Riverlink and, and are also stepping up, which is great. And I think also, you know, We've been pretty open with the fact that I think last year it cost about $8,000 or something for the trolley cleanup, letting people know that that's how their rates are being spent. So, um, yeah, it's a, a good result. Let's hope that, that that trajectory continues. Absolutely. Any more for any more? No, then I'll put the motion. All those in favour? Unanimous and carried. Thank you. Next item is con confirmation of minutes. Uh, of the Environment Sustainability Committee meeting number 10 of 2022 on the 10th of November. Recommendations that the minutes uh, be confirmed. Do I have a mover? Thank you, Councillor Klinsman. Seconder. Thank you, Councillor Fechner. Uh, I'll open 
for any discussion on no nothing very good i'll put the motion all those in favor unanimous and carried thank you moving to officers reports uh, item three is ipswich city council natural environment strategy 2023 this is a report concerning the adoption of the new ipswich city council natural environment strategy 2023 any member of committee wish to ask any questions No. Um, I, I do know. Oh, I attended uh, some of the community consultation um, for that, and uh, it was uh, very, very well done. Um, do I have a mover? Thank you, Councillor Fackner. Second, thank you, Count, uh, Councillor Kunzman. Open the matter for discussion. Councillor Fackner. Um. I know that this has been in development for a really long time um, and it's an important strategy to get right. Um, it's kind of aligning with the values of this council, um, you know, continue to maintain that we're one of the greenest um, in Ipswich's history, which we should be really proud of. Um, but I just want to commend the officers on the work that they did to engage the community and the work that they did to engage the elected representatives um, and also those stakeholders within the organisation. Um, I know some of those workshops and briefings were some of the most engaging that I'd ever attended here at Council. It was free-flowing discussion. Um, it was informative, and I think we've landed at a really wonderful place um, with this strategy. So, um, yeah, many thanks to the department for pulling this together. It is a huge piece of work that's taken quite some time to come together, and I'm really pleased to be... Um, uh, seeing it here at committee today and you know I fully support uh, the recommendation to adopt um, before Christmas Absolutely. it's our little green Christmas gift yes very well put Councillor Peckner uh, any other member of committee wish to uh, discuss me Harding um, like yourself I think I went to I think the first I only went to one of the community engagements. you probably went to, to more but I went to that first one up at the Queen's Park Education Centre. Um, it was really great to see um, the community really engaged, but also see um, you know, that, that feedback taken on board in this strategy. I think it's a really uh, great way forward. And we've seen across whether it's the Olympics Legacy Summit or even um, other, you know, Spark, we're seeing um, that pride in our natural places. So it's really great to see this strategy. I'll be supporting it. Thank you, Mayor Hunting. Yes, absolutely. I. Uh in likewise in in viewing uh, the the discussion that was uh, uh, through all those events uh, as it was evolving um, as to uh, the strategy as to how the uh, policy uh, was wanting to be implemented um, through those uh, six strategic priorities um, it's very well done any more for any more no then I'll put the motion those in favor it's unanimous and carried. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Item four is the severe weather February 2022 recovery plan, October to December. This is a report concerning the ongoing activity of the Ipswich Local Recovery and Resilience Group in response to the February 2022 severe weather event. Does any member of committee wish to ask any questions? No. Then I'll uh, ask for a mover. Thank you, Councillor Kunzman, seconder. Thank you, Councillor Fechner. The recommendation is that the report concerning the recovery plan uh, be received and its contents noted. I'll open the matter for discussion. Mayor Harding. I think um, the recovery phase of any disaster is, is a really, really challenging one, and it's the long tail in, in a disaster. Um, so I want to thank all our partners of the different federal and state government departments who are working with us, as well as you know, Red Cross, uh, non-government organisations and, and community groups working with us to get these results uh, for our community. No? Okay. Um, yes, I, I, I agree, Mayor, that um, <clears throat> this is a, a, a detail of uh, how it has, has progressed along uh, from the commencement of recovery uh, through this, um, well, basically this uh, current point in time. Um, 
and uh, all those involved uh, as to what uh, work has been undertaken. And it's been, a, I must say, a, a, an all-in effort from all parts of the community. And I think, too, in our organisation, a lot of people are double-hatting, so they're doing their day job as, as well as this. It's been a significant effort on, on this council's um, behalf, yeah. Absolutely. No further discussion? I'll put the motion. Those in favour? Unanimous and carried. Thank you. Item five is a late item. Response to Merrill motion, review of the February-March 2022 flood event. This is a report to provide a response to the Merrill motion to undertake a review of the February 2022 flood event, including public participation resolved at Council's ordinary meeting on the 21st of April 2022. Does any member of committee wish to uh, ask any questions? No? The recommendations are in three parts as per the agenda. I'll ask for a mover. Councillor Kunzeman, seconder. Thank you, Mayor Harding. I'll open the matter for discussion. Mayor Harding. If I, if I may. Thank you, Chair. Um, I'd like to thank the Council for undertaking this review of Council's response to the February flood event. I originally put the idea of a flood review forward as a mayoral minute because flooding is an inevitable, inevitable part of life in South East Queensland and our ability to respond swiftly to these events has a direct impact on the preservation of life and property in Ipswich. It is my understanding that a review of this kind has never been undertaken by Ipswich City Council, not even after the devastating 2011 floods. We have instead uh, relied on the support and the reviews done by Inspector General Emergency Management, which again happened the, as well this year. I think it's extremely important that we continue to improve how we respond to these severe weather events. I mean, we can only do that if we look closely at what we did well and what lessons we can learn from the next event. I would like to highlight that this was not a superficial exercise. The independent reports before us are detailed they, are, they have involved extensive consultation and certainly provide a warts and all critique of our flood response. I'd like to commend the organisation for being open and transparent in its approach to this review. They've held nothing back and I thank the officers involved for their honesty and bravery in doing so. While the review by nature is meant to look critically at areas for improvement, I don't think we should in any way take away from the outstanding job of sort of my colleagues, the councillors and the hours that they've put in during the disaster and afterwards and what the officers and the council did during and directly following the significant flooding event. I know there are many stories of council representatives going above and beyond their service in the community, and this is reflected in the fact that the city of Ipswich had no major injuries or loss of life during the February floods. Ipswich City Council has received very positive feedback to its flood response, not just in the state's independent review of the disaster, but from our own community as part of this review. And I think we can be all very proud of that. The next step, of course, is how we put these recommendations into practice. Some of the work the report recommended has already been undertaken to improve Council's disaster management as we head into the current disaster season. We have established a temporary flood monitoring camera network and have progressed a permanent to a net permanent network. There have been improvements made to the disaster dashboard to customise the content further based on the feedback received. We've conducted training for Council staff, community groups and other agencies. We've had two flood gauges recently installed at Colleges Crossing at Carolee after they were lost in the extreme weather in February. These gauges were made in a more resilient manner to withstand future flood events so accurate data can be captured and maintained. Four flood cameras have been installed in October at the Goodner Boat Ramp, at the Warwick Road Bridge, on the Worrell, Rosal Worrell View Road Spresses Bridge and the Rosal Worrell View um, Road Bridge. I'm also pleased to state that seven more flood monitoring cameras will be coming online today as well. They are at Colleges Crossing, uh, Mill Street facing Parker Street Goodner, Mill Street facing Enos Street Goodner, uh, Junction Road, Seven Mile Bridge, Leichhardt Bridge and uh, Brisbane Terrace. This gives the city a total of 11 cameras to inform both the community and disaster responders with instant access to real-time information, allowing anyone to view rising floodwaters. 
This Council is committed to transparency and this flood review report presents us with an opportunity for continuous improvement so we can provide the best service and outcomes to the people of Ipswich during a disaster. The Ipswich Flood Review 2022 has made comprehensive recommendations based on community and stakeholder feedback. I would personally like to see these recommendations adopted and I certainly uh, put it to my fellow councillors, the CEO, that we do consider how we do, these, how we do <laughs> fulfil these recommendations in our upcoming budget discussions. Thank you, Chair. Thank you, Mayor. Councillor Kunzman. Uh, I support the report and the recommendations, and I note that we're, we're moving now to an implementation plan. Um, it is a learning exercise, warts and all, and um, we're very happy to take on the uh, learnings. Um, what we, what part of this was that we had four flood uh, community forums. What I took away from I took away from those a lot of things, but one of them was that people who were affected wanted to see their councils on the ground, and I think that's a very important takeaway for us. Um, this brings us to the point where we say that part of what we need to respond to is community education, and I keep saying this as well: community education in terms of people having a disaster plan for themselves, that they know where to get information, they know how to use the disaster dashboard, etc, etc. So I think that's the other important takeaway. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor Kunzman. Any further discussion? No? Uh, I'll just note that it uh, is more than just a, a quick uh, story about the uh, response during the event. It is uh, quite comprehensive, and uh, see, I would I'd like to pass on uh, um, my personal thanks to uh, uh, managers and, and staff involved in, in compiling it in, a, in such a time frame uh, to be able to deliver the information to the organisation and to community. Thank you very much, Chair. Thanks, well deserved by the team. They worked very hard to bring it forward to committee today with the, the external reviewer, so thank you very much. Absolutely. Any more for any more? Oh, I'd like Harding. to thank the Emergency Management Unit team and the, the whole team there. They worked very hard to make sure that with this report did come out before the next, before you know, summer really hits us. Um, hopefully we get through it, you know, that nothing uh, untoward happens, but thank you very much for pulling out all stops and getting that done, even phone calls late at night and so on. Thanks, Matt. I'll put the motion. Those in favour? Unanimous and carried. Thank you very much. Well, I have no notices of motion, nor matters arising, and no procedural motions and formal matters. I'll close the meeting at 1.20 p.m. The next committee will commence at uh, 1.30. Thank you, everyone.